All right, today we're gonna try the Battle of Atlanta, no generals, this one video which has the highest number of views, so maybe you would like to see it with commentary. All right. So 18 rounds, six general, capture all key points, which is really only one. Also, pay attention to the cities, which has the symbol. Whenever you conquer, you get a bonus of coins, and here a bonus of industry. All right, so we go first to this one. Field artillery. Range. Always try to surround the enemy when you can. Before it. So the troops with the mountains you cannot advance faster all right the fortress is almost finished so I start moving my artillery also a bit toward the west since likewise I'll try to do by saying breastplate cavalry as a double attack so I will not waste it I will move it there see it is gone use this infantry which is the most bonus and I get the extra bonus okay now I'll move my cavalry here so I can get two shots Sometimes that's what happened though, you don't get the second shot. He really upset me when this happened. I'm not sure why. Conqueror, you always get a second shot when you have the tank and you have unlocked the training. Anyway, first city is captured. Let's upgrade it. Always upgrade. And now what are we gonna do? Let's see what do we have here. Thing, basically no industry we need some artillery in this game so I will oh, there is a factory where is it it's either by one of these units well, oh, there it is oh, under my nose Good. so I have a factory I have a princess Sophie 25% lower artillery cost I have also 60 knowledge and so I will use the blast which destroys all fortresses okay let's go factory so I can use it I will move my least useful unit which is this infantry semi destructed so next turn I can build the infantry the city over there is almost conquered though. I wonder if it's worth it my time to move it. Or maybe I should move it down here. Something. Mm. I was trying to block the stable. Alright, so I'm going down. I will ignore the city on the left. I think I will survive without all the units. I will move out to the city. So my artillery. This. Get the Maybe I will send this cavalry west just to help. I see they are there. I don't like to be surrounded. Getting in position. One of the toughest things is to remember to every turn to get your military tactics, keep investing. 
I wish I could have blocked this table. Uh, I'm going to go after you this figure because mine is not general. One thing I should put on is to weaken this general here. Like this. Then I should move down my breastplate. I will move the infantry here so they cannot build any more cavalry. And now, let's see, I have a Hobbitzer, perfect, at a lower cost. And I have a 40 units in fortress, so I don't need to have an army guarding it. I will move. And again, I didn't get my second shot. It sucks. Now I can use my blast. Hmm. Let's see. Here I have 125, which is easy. Here 520. It's a lot. Also, the fortress regen. So I should start advancing a bit of work. I also don't like that my population is too low. And have any farm it means I'm not generating a lot of income. Okay, but we can continue the salt. So I should start moving my artillery toward the final destination, which is the city level six. Same for this other guy. Now, let's advance my army. I don't care about the population to be honest because I'm quite advanced in the game. Possible to use it. See, I put the cavalry between the two units. Well, I lose a bit of morale, I'm still strong enough to do double shot. I always go for double shot, that's why the cavalry is my favorite unit. That's why I invested to have the best cavalry possible. Infantry, I couldn't care less, I rarely use infantry. Tactical, to block enemy artillery to steal enemy factories or stables and to occupy cities but otherwise not very useful uh, let's see here let me upgrade still have a lot of units but i have a farm farm still doesn't work okay next upgrade the farm should kick in I I don't need more units really, I need some artillery. Still have 20, 20 knowledge, so I have one more blast. Okay, so let's move the artillery. Fortunately, the field artillery cannot defend itself, so those parts are going to kick my butt. Alright, another uh, 100 down, another howitzer, and keep hammering on the fortress. That's all is left, doesn't matter all the rest. Okay, I have an infantry in position to steal the city in case we have the chance. Let's go for the free shot. Yeah, attacking the fortress is a sort of suicide mission, but I have uh, plenty of time. Let's put down this hunter cover. Let's see, I have a little industry. Uh, 
understand it. Okay, not to have too much overpopulation. useless but I still did it oh, let's see I have I think still enough units maybe one more artillery to be on the safe side I have a very low industry in every game you should pay attention at the pace at which you acquire resources in this game I have a low industry which really struggle to build more artillery when you attack the city always start with the artillery to bring down the defenses and the cavalry to take advantage of the shot and infantry rest all right so i could finish this game here 44 and 84 44 on the fortress and 84 on the unit and i have three cavalry and an infantry that cannot steal though, it's too crappy to steal. To this general. I still have 30, no, that's not enough. I start Twenty-six, but So the game is finito. 